20 Common Foods You're refrigerating wrong the shocking truth. Have you ever reached into your fridge, excited for a bite of your favorite food, only to find it's lost its charm? It's either too soggy, too hard, or just not right. What if I told you that you've been storing it all wrong? Yes, you heard me right. Welcome to Healthy Habitat, where we uncover the secrets to keeping your food at its best, and today, we're diving into the shocking truth about 20 common foods you've been refrigerating all wrong. Storing food correctly not only keeps it fresh longer, but also preserves its nutrients and taste. And guess what? Some of the foods you've been chilling might just be better off outside your fridge. So buckle up as we count down from 20 to the number one food item you've been storing incorrectly. And trust me, number one will absolutely surprise you. 20 potatoes. At number 20, we have potatoes. Now I know what you're thinking. Potatoes in the fridge? What's the big deal? Well, it turns out it is a big deal. You see, when you store potatoes in the cold, it turns their starch into sugar much faster than it would at room temperature. This not only changes their taste, making them sweeter, but also affects their texture, giving them a gritty feel. Not exactly what you're looking for in your mashed potatoes, right? The best place for them is in a cool, dark place like a pantry. They love that, and they'll stay perfect for your cooking needs. 19. Onions Moving on to number 19, onions. This one might bring a tear to your eye if you've been doing it wrong. Onions do not like the moisture in your fridge. It turns them into a mushy, moldy mess much quicker than you'd expect. Instead, they thrive in a dry, well-ventilated space. A dark pantry or a storage bin works wonders. But here's a twist. Once you've cut an onion, the game changes. That's when it needs to be wrapped up and put in the fridge to keep it fresh. A little onion paradox for you. 18. Honey At number 18, we have honey, nature's liquid gold. Now, honey is fascinating because it's one of the few foods that can last almost indefinitely. But if you put it in the fridge, you're setting yourself up for a sticky situation. Cold temperatures thicken honey, making it crystallize and turn hard. So instead of a smooth drizzle on your toast, you get a solid lump. Keep it at room temperature, and you'll have smooth, runny honey ready for use anytime. Plus, it's a natural preservative, so it doesn't need the chill to stay fresh. 17. Garlic Landing at number 17 is garlic. Similar to its cousin, the onion garlic prefers to avoid the fridge's chilly embrace. The cold, damp conditions in the fridge can encourage mold and cause it to sprout prematurely. No one likes sprouted garlic, right? It belongs in a dry, ventilated place to maintain its dryness and potency. Plus, when stored properly, it can last for months, always ready to add that punch of flavor to your dishes. 16. Avocados At number 16, we've got avocados. Ah, avocados, the crown jewel of brunch and beyond. But here's the thing. Storing them in the fridge before they're ripe, that's a no-go. It drastically slows down their ripening process. You want to keep them out at room temperature until they hit that perfect level of ripeness. Once they're ripe, though, feel free to move them to the fridge to extend their life just a bit longer. It's all about timing with these green beauties. 15. Olive Oil Number 15 brings us to olive oil, which might come as a shock to some, the fridge turns it into a thick, butter-like consistency. Not exactly ideal for drizzling over your salad or sautéing veggies, right? Olive oil prefers a cool, dark place, like a cupboard away from the stove. This keeps it in perfect liquid harmony, ready to elevate your dishes with its rich, fruity notes. Remember, olive oil is like fine wine. It doesn't like extreme temperatures, so treat it kindly. 14. Tomatoes Coming in at number 14, we have tomatoes. Now, this is a big one because so many of us are guilty of tossing them in the fridge. But here's the inside scoop. Cold temperatures ruin tomatoes' texture and flavor. It stops the ripening process, leading to that mealy, flavorless experience. Nobody wants that. Keep them on your counter and let them ripen to perfection. You'll notice a big difference in taste. They'll be juicier, sweeter, and just bursting with flavor. 13. Basil And at number 13, we find basil. Basil in the fridge? It's more likely than you think, but it's not where this herb thrives. The cold air damages its leaves, causing wilting and blackening. You know what works better? Treating basil like the fresh bouquet that it is. Place it in a cup of water on your countertop, much like you would with fresh-cut flowers. Not only will this keep your basil vibrant and green, but it also adds a lovely aroma to your kitchen. Plus, it's within easy reach for that final touch on your pasta or pizza. 12 Bananas At number 12, we've got Bananas. Now, bananas are a bit tricky, aren't they? If you've ever tossed them in the fridge hoping to halt their march towards over-ripeness, you might have noticed something odd. 
The cold doesn't stop the ripening, but instead turns their skins brown much quicker. Inside, they might still be firm, but that fridge causes them to look like they've seen better days. Best to keep them out in the open, where they can ripen naturally. Once they're ripe to your liking, then you can consider the fridge to keep them a bit longer without going mushy. I-11. Nuts. Number 11 might come as a surprise. It's nuts. Yes, nuts. Keeping them in the fridge isn't a big no-no, but it's not always necessary. Due to their high oil content, nuts can go rancid at room temperature over time, especially if you're in a warmer climate or if you don't plan to eat them quickly. Refrigeration can extend their shelf life, but for the short term, a cool, dark pantry works just fine. Plus, refrigeration can sometimes alter their texture. So if you're a frequent nut eater, the pantry is your friend. 10. Citrus Fruits Sliding into number 10, we have citrus fruits, oranges, lemons, limes, and the like. This one's a bit nuanced. While citrus fruits can be refrigerated, especially to extend their shelf life, doing so can diminish their vibrant flavors. At room temperature, they're juicier and zestier, which is exactly what you want when you're looking for that burst of flavor. If you do refrigerate them, try to let them come to room temperature before using them for cooking or juicing. It makes all the difference. 9. Cucumbers And at number 9, we have cucumbers. This might throw you for a loop because where else would you keep cucumbers if not in the crisp drawer? But here's the scoop. Refrigerating cucumbers can actually cause them to become cold damaged, leading to wilting, pitting, and off flavors. They're happiest at room temperature. If you love your cucumbers crisp and fresh, consider storing them on the counter. If you must refrigerate them, try to use them within a few days to avoid those chilly side effects. 8. Melons Coming in at number 8, we've got melons. Until they're cut, melons actually do better outside the fridge. You see, chilling them can halt the ripening process, meaning they won't develop that full, juicy sweetness we all love. Room temperature is where it's at for maximizing flavor and texture. Once you cut into them, though, the story changes. Then you should refrigerate the pieces to keep them fresh. 7. Peppers At lucky number 7 peppers, and I'm talking all kinds, bell peppers, jalapenos, you name it. Now, peppers are a bit of a paradox. While refrigerating them can keep them crisp, it also dulls their flavor and can lead to a loss of some nutritional value, especially vitamin C. If you can, try storing them in a cool, dry place outside the fridge. They'll still stay crisp for a while, and you'll get the best of their flavor and nutrients. If you've got too many to use quickly, though, the fridge can slow down their decay. 6. Apples Number six might surprise you. Apples, yes, we refrigerate them to keep them crisp, but doing so can also diminish their aroma and flavor. Apples emit ethylene gas, which accelerates ripening in other fruits, so if you keep them out, be mindful of their neighbors. Ideally, keep them in a cool, dark place if you plan to eat them soon. For longer storage, the fridge can help, but try to let them warm up a bit before eating. It really wakes up their flavors. Five, squash. And at number five, we have squash including varieties like butternut, acorn, and spaghetti. These guys are storage champions outside the fridge. They prefer a cool, dark place, and when stored properly, they can last for months. The fridge's cold and moisture can lead to soft spots and quicker spoilage. Plus, keeping them out just feels right. They're like the decoration of the vegetable world, adding a bit of autumnal charm to your kitchen. 4. Stone Fruits At number 4, we've got stone fruits. Think peaches, plums, and cherries. Now here's the deal. When you bring them home, they're often not quite ripe. Leaving them out at room temperature allows them to ripen to perfection, developing those sweet, juicy flavors we all crave. Once they reach that peak ripeness, if you haven't eaten them all by then, pop them in the fridge to extend their life a bit. But remember, chilling them too soon can lead to a lack of flavor and a mealy texture. It's all about timing with these delicious gems. Three fresh herbs. Number three brings us to fresh herbs. This one's close to my heart because there's nothing like fresh herbs to elevate a dish. But storing them in the fridge can be tricky. They can wilt, dry out, or even get that dreaded freezer burn. Here's a kitchen hack for you. Treat them like flowers. Trim the stems and place them in a glass of water. Maybe cover them loosely with a plastic bag and voila. They stay vibrant and flavorful for much longer. Plus, they add a splash of green to your kitchen. Two, coffee. At number two, coffee lovers, listen up. We're talking about coffee beans. Refrigerating or freezing them might seem like a good idea to keep them fresh, but it's actually a no-no. The cold can create condensation, which affects the oils and flavor of the beans. Instead, store them in an airtight container in a cool, dark place. You want to preserve those rich flavors and aromas for the perfect cup every morning. Trust me, your taste buds will thank you. And bread. And finally, 
The moment we've all been waiting for, number one, bread. Yes, bread is the most common food we're refrigerating wrong. It seems logical, right? Keep the bread in the fridge to prevent mold. But actually, refrigeration causes bread to stale faster than at room temperature. Due to the cold environment accelerating the retrogradation of starch, the best way to keep your bread fresh is to store it in a cool, dry place and only buy what you can eat within a few days. If you have too much, freezing is a better option than refrigerating. Just thaw slices as you need them. And that wraps up our journey through the 20 common foods we've all been storing incorrectly. By making these simple adjustments, you can ensure your groceries maintain their flavor, texture, and nutritional value for longer. Remember, it's not just about keeping food fresh, it's about enjoying every bite to its fullest. Thank you for tuning in to Healthy Habitat. If you found this guide helpful, give us a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe for more tips on living your healthiest life. Here's to smarter storage and happier eating. See you in the next video.